Behind the steel walls and busy production lines of Korea Aerospace Industries KI, Modern Factory, the roar of machinery and the glint of metal are preparing something far greater than an industrial product. The FA-50 PH Block 70 aircraft now being assembled is more than just a collection of panels, wires, and engines. It represents the Philippines' ambition to build a relevant air force in the 21st century. The presence of the FA-50PH Block 70 on the production line symbolizes a significant transition for the Philippine Air Force PAF. The country is striving to emerge from the limitations of its legacy defense equipment while emphasizing that the PAF now aspires to be a regional air force that is no longer merely defensive but also capable of sending a deterrent message. The fact that KI opened its doors to defense watchers to witness the production process demonstrates the level of transparency and trust in the defense relationship between the two countries. This occasion marks more than just a factory visit. It serves as a reminder of the project's importance to the Philippines' increasingly complex military strategy in the Indo-Pacific. Under the umbrella of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, Modernization Program, the government allocated 39 billion pesos for 12 additional FA-50 PH Block 70S. This figure may seem substantial, but when compared to the acquisition costs of high-end fighter jets, it is actually relatively economical, making it reasonable within the Philippines' fiscal constraints, which often hamper major projects. This decision also reflects Manila's pragmatic stance, strengthening its air force immediately without having to wait for the procurement of heavyweight multi-role jets that require lengthy negotiations, additional infrastructure, and higher operational costs. In the context of the existential threat in the West Philippine Sea, time is as crucial as technology. Undeniably, this move builds on previous successes. Between 2015 and 2017, the first 12 FA, 50 PHs had already proven their operational value. This success reassured the PAF that expanding the fleet with the latest variant was a low-risk investment while providing immediate benefits to its readiness. The 2017 Marawi crisis set a crucial stage for the FA-50 PH. These jets conducted precision airstrikes against militant positions, disrupting enemy momentum, and supporting ground troops. For the PAF, this experience was not only a successful mission but also validation that the FA-50 is capable of operating in real-world combat conditions, a crucial factor that bolsters confidence in the platform. The Block 70 variant represents a significant evolution over the previous generation. Its modern ASA radar, more advanced digital avionics, and compatibility with smart munitions make it not just an armed trainer jet, but a full-fledged tactical fighter. With lower operational costs than full-fledged fourth-generation jets, the Block 70 offers a combination of efficiency and capability rarely found in developing countries. Enhanced data link systems are key. With the ability to share real-time information with allies, the FA, 50PH Block 70 can become part of a joint combat network. In the Indo-Pacific, interoperability with the United States, Japan, and Australia is not just a bonus, but a strategic necessity that determines the effectiveness of Philippine air defenses. The planned delivery before the end of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s term in 2028 has both political and military significance. 
Politically, this demonstrates the continuity of defense policy. From a military perspective, it provides sufficient space for the PAF to organize infrastructure, training, and support systems before the new fleet becomes fully operational. With this addition, the number of FA-50 PHs will double to 24. This increase is not merely statistical. In operational terms, it means more aircraft rotations, a higher level of combat readiness, and more structured logistics management. The PAF now has the space to conduct intensive training without sacrificing day-to-day -day operational readiness. While the PAF still harbors interest in multi-role jets like the Saab Gripen or F-16 Viper, budgetary realities make the FA-50 Block 70 the most sensible solution at this time. It is not a full replacement for fourth-generation jets, but as a capability gap filler, it is crucial. The Philippines can strengthen its air force without waiting a decade. This agreement strengthens the manila sole defense relationship. South Korea is not only exporting aircraft, but also building long-term trust. From the FA-50 to the Jose Rizal-class warships and HDC-3200 Corvettes, Seoul has proven to be a consistent partner, strengthening cross-service cooperation. Analysts believe the FA-50PH Block 70 fleet will be a crucial component in regional joint exercises. Its capabilities enable involvement in maritime patrols, air defense, and humanitarian assistance missions. This represents the PAF's transformation from a domestic force to an active player in the Indo-Pacific region. In the context of the West Philippine Sea, the presence of these new FA-50PHs will be a crucial tool for detecting intrusions and responding quickly to crises. For Manila, this is not only about safeguarding territory, but also sending a strategic message to anyone attempting to challenge Philippine sovereignty. Ultimately, the acquisition of the FA-50PH Block 70 is more than just a fighter jet. It symbolizes the commitment, policy direction, and strategic awareness that air power is a key pillar of modern sustainment. With its arrival by 2028, the PAF is entering a new chapter, more prepared, more credible, and more connected to allies in the Indo-Pacific.